guys and girls. Laplace transforms to analyze step input to an RLC series circuit. So that's a circuit with a resistor, an inductor, and a capacitor in series. So what we're going to do is first consider the circuit where a 10 volt step input is connected into a 1 ohm resistor a 100 Henry inductor and a 0 0.1 Farad capacitor like so we want to determine an expression for I at time T i.e. we want to do a transient analysis we want to look at what happens during the initial transient period after switch on so thinking back to what we did with the other circuits what was the first thing we did so a so first Write an expression S Z in domain the impedance. Yeah. So when we move a resistor into the S domain, what do we do? One, isn't it? Yep. Plus, factor, multiplied by S, plus a capacitor, 0.1 S. Okay. So that's the first stage. Two. We need to express this as one fraction. With a common denominator. Yep. So what What's the, if I take this expression again, ZS is equal to 1 plus 100S plus 1 over 0.1S. What would be the denominators of these two bits as they stand? 1. So we could write them as over 1. Yep. Now how, we, how can we give all of those three a common denominator? We want to make all of these on the bottom here 0.1 S. Sorry? How do we find common denominators? If that was 2, 3 and 4 how would you find a common denominator? <laughs> How can I make these two denominators equal 0.1s? Divide the bottom by 10 would make that 0.1. How can I make 0.1s? Multiply by 0.1s. So we have to do, we can say that's equal to 
0.1s on the bottom. What I've done to the bottom, I must do to the top. Yeah, so that's still equal to 1, you agree? Yeah. I want to make this one 0.1s on the bottom. So I've got to do 0.1s times 100s on the top. And that one has already got that denominator anyway, so it stays as it is. Everybody follow that. So that now means we can write that ZS expression as one fraction all over 0.1s. And that would be 0.1s. Multiply this out. 0.1s times 100s is... Point one times a hundred. Ten S S times S is ten S squared plus one. Okay. No, we need to bring the step input into it. Oh, hit, hit, yeah, but... One way to find a common denominator for three fractions would be to multiply them all together. What's naught times one times? In that form, they cancel out and they go back to one. But then we haven't got a single fraction with one common denominator then. No, because you because you've you've got to have if we separate those fractions out you've got to go back to that. That cancels there, but then you have you've got naught point you'd have naught point one S plus the fraction ten S squared plus one over naught point one S, which is the same thing, but we need it in that one fraction form before we bring the voltage in. All right, so you, you're going away from the purpose of making it into one fraction by counting those two. Yeah, right? So how can we write the 10 volts in, in the S domain? So the 10 volt step in T... Domain is written as from your table of the plus transform, sorry. 10 over S. Yeah. So what we can now say is the expression for I in the S domain is VS over ZS. That is 10 over S divided by our expression for Z, 0.1s plus 10s squared plus 1 all over 0.1s. How do we go about resolving that fraction divided by another fraction? Flip it over. <laughs> Be more, I think you need to be a little bit more specific. Flip what over? How do we divide fractions? Which one, though? 
No, you got it wrong. That's the denominator you need to flip. So you go equals 10 over s to keep the numerator the same way up and multiply it by 0.1s over 0.1s plus 10s squared plus 1. So yeah, you do flip it over. Not meaning to take. I'm not. It's not funny. You better all. They all lose a laugh and better remember to do it the right way in the exam. All right. You don't mind, do you, Lewis? All right. Now, can you see how that can be simplified? See how that can be simplified or not? If I wrote it like this, would you see that it can be simplified? 10 times 0.1s over s times 0.1s plus 10s squared plus 1. Yeah, it becomes 1s. Yeah, so doing that makes that 1s. Now how can I still further simplify that? Two S's cancel each other out. Yeah? So it equals one divided by 0.1 S plus 10 S squared plus one. Is there an entry in the table that looks like that? So is there an entry on the Laplace transform side of your table of Laplace transforms that looks like that one? On, on, just looking at it, there isn't. However, if you take a look at this one, where it says e to the minus a t sine omega t transforms backwards and forwards to omega over s plus a squared plus omega squared. That's the damped sine wave. If we multiply out the denominator, go on. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because you've got an I omega in there. Two A's now, and they're not the same. That's B in there, is it? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Less. 
I know it's different to what you've got, right? But let's just leave it as I had it for a minute, and you'll see why. Omega over and I'll change that because there's a reason why I want to right those two I'm just take that A off there for a minute that's dealt with separately and something out different right if we um, multiply out Denominator expression. What do we get? So if we take S plus A squared plus omega squared, if we multiply out the brackets, what do we get? Still have it on the top. We've got to do S times S, haven't we? S squared. We'll have IS twice. So we'll have two IS. Plus I squared, and we'll still have our omega squared left on the end. Yep. Comparing that, so with our expression from earlier that one okay we've got a squared term there, squared term there, yep. we've got a constant, to, uh, an S term there, and there, all right, where, and we've got these two together, I squared and omega squared, constant on the end. Yep. So they're both I squared and omega squared at this stage unknown constants so they can bond to make the one on the S squared term and it. We've got an S term where 2A is equal to 0.1 in this case yep. and we've got an I squared plus omega squared which in this case is equal to 1. All right? So, this way, of writing expression, is called a perfect square. And the whole thing, plus a remainder. So, what to do, express that format, i.e. get it into perfect square plus remainder format. 
Okay, we're going to go away from our circuit problem a little while and have a look at the terms around a perfect square and learn how that all works together and how we can turn expression like that into one in that form. Go back and look at problem afterwards. Okay?